here's a the, for the final installation. There's a 30 amp um, circuit breaker for the heater, just because it's uh, 4,500 watts. It needs that. So I finished wiring up the uh, main part of the Ugu uh, control panel. So the source electricity comes in uh, to two, 220 volt, 240, uh, two legs of it. Neutral, the neutrals just need in case you run into lights or vent or anything. I just ran to the four conductor near anyways. And then obviously ground goes to the ground bar. Um, then this is gonna go to the heater the heater doesn't need the uh, neutral, so it just takes the two legs, and it's also grounded. I haven't I haven't hooked up the heater yet, but I just wanted to get this all working. There is a door. Uh, which one? I think this one's the door. Anyways, there, there's, a, there's a temperature gauge, and then there's a door. It wasn't really clear which wires you use, but there was a lot of this um, cable, so I, I use this and just I need it for both. And then this is for the uh, control panel. It just runs up and over. Yeah, I've just got this all temporary hooked up just so I can try it out. Um, the door, there's a, a sensor. I didn't really like it. It's like, I don't know, it gives you like eight inch lead or something. And then it just has uh, open connectors because this is then, this goes through here and it'll be uh, sitting right here. And then the door has a little magnet on it. And when the magnet gets close to this, it knows that it's closed when it's open. So it won't run a heater when that is connected. Uh, but you don't really have a good way other than I just had to put an outlet box here because you run this cable over to the control panel um, and I wanted to be able to get to it. So I'm just gonna put a plate over this and I'm probably gonna solder these. There's just wire, wire so thin. So again, this this will protrude through into the frame like that. Uh, here's the controller. Again, this will be, this gets, uh, I've just got this temporarily ho hooked up just to make sure it works. So I can see that it's actually working. I uh, connected the Wi-Fi that's working. And then the other is runs over here and this will be the temperature gauge. Um, just has a little, again, there's other two leads. So it'll be hooked up. I think it's like eight inches off the, off the, from the ceiling, but I know it's going to be here. This is going to be, both these are kind of this and the uh, controller are kind of they don't have a good way. You just have to put a hole through and then punch it through um, again like that. And then it, it attaches from the back. So I got all that. Again, the, the heater is going to be over here. So here's the, the two lead uh, in the ground. So that's going to be, it's actually after the installation is done. Uh, so the wall's up, but I just want to show you that the, what I ran to it. So the, the, the electricity comes into this outlet box and this is an exterior grade outlet box uh, with waterproof uh, three quarter inch connector. And I had to get this uh, special metal conduit inside, but it's um, has a special protector. So it's good up to 100 degrees Celsius. You needed this high temperature. Um, and then it actually, the, um, the electricity transfers from the regular wire, from the regular Romix, to I just got a high temperature appliance grade, just so I can run it through here. Uh, and then just the, the two legs hook in. So I'm gonna put the cover on this and get it all set. I forgot to mention that this, it comes, uh, the controller with these, at least just small ones, and then there's these three quarter inch uh, for watertight. Mine's in a finished space. Well, at least it's not wet. So I just swapped out and got some of these three quarter inch strain relief just to hold it in place. I'll hold the wires because uh, I, I don't want to be running conduit.